Hey guys, and um, <clears throat> welcome to another vlog. I'm in Birmingham right now, yeah. Um, I travelled down, I didn't vlog anything as I travelled because I've, I've been with a lot of people and um, this, the main part of this vlog is going to be all the fun stuff. But I travelled down, it's Friday, so Friday night we're doing work, all of Saturday we're doing work and then uh, to Sunday afternoon we're doing work and then it's basically you know Sunday afternoon Mondays when the fun begins so I might vlog intermittently maybe the worky parts to let you know why I'm here and what I'm doing but the majority of it will be the fun parts it's half past five right now we were supposed to all meet up and go to the the building get a taxi and go to the building to start the work but um, it's like a couple of minutes past half past five and no one's here so that's why I'm keeping this intro really short because somebody could knock on my door any minute. I'm staying in the Aston Hotel which is a part of Birmingham Birmingham University's accommodation. Um, I don't want to start giving you a room tour, not that there's much to give of, just in case somebody does knock on my door. So this is a very brief intro, hoping I'm in frame. Usually when I'm not in frame it's because my camera's too high so I'm keeping my camera down a little bit lower. Um, so I'll probably talk to you guys later on tonight. Um, it probably will be like later on at night. Um, hopefully it won't be too late because I'm presuming it's going to be early starts and whatnot. And I need my beauty rest. Especially like if you, know, if you travel a lot I never sleep very well in a hotel because it's not my own bed. But yeah, I'll catch up with you guys and explain myself properly later. Bye! Hey guys, it's like 10 past 10, much later with my makeup off and my jammies. I decided to come back to my room and retire so I could do my ab exercises and uh, just to take my makeup and stuff off because it takes me a little bit longer. Um, and if I have to get up at 6am or thereabouts, I kind of want to get a, a good night's sleep. So I'm thinking, you know, 11 o'clock. So this way I've got a good, you know, 50 minutes to watch Netflix and chill. Everyone's down the stairs. I think I said that. But yeah, I just, I don't know, I just sometimes I kind of feel like a, an extra piece. But I'm not going to go into that. That's going to make the vlog sound sad. I was going to... Come on and tell you guys, yeah, we just got introduced to a few of the newer um, people we haven't met. Um, one of the girls, Claire, she seems really cool. Um, she's from Nottingham, so that's awesome. But yeah, uh, tomorrow's when most of the work will take place. So I thought I would just give you a little tour around the room. I really like the room. So... This is what was behind you, I hope you can see. So this is my bed here. It's not a single bed, but it's not a double bed. It, it's kind of like somewhere in between. Obviously I haven't sat in it for, or laying in it for any length of time, but that's fine. And then, um, you know, you've got the windows straight ahead. And then to the right of the bed, there's a kind of wee desk area. I've got all my stuff strewn along it. Hopefully you can see like my iPad. I've got my waterproof jacket on the back of the chair. Um, and they have a little tea section which thoroughly pleases me. There was a little biscuit too which I've already promptly popped in my bag. Because I'm staying here for two nights, I'm kind of hoping that like the cleanup crew will, will come in and they'll see that I'm missing a biscuit and give me another one. I know it's not a Disney hotel, but hey. And I stocked up in little soy milks on the train. If I'd known there wasn't going to be soy milks at the School of Education, I would have brought my own. Mo assured me there'd be soy milk, but alas, at least I've got it now. So these are like coffees and teas. I chucked the chamomile teas over there because chamomile... Um, I don't know where I chucked it. Yeah, but chamomile tea is the only tea I don't like. So I've got hot chocolates and stuff and coffees. I will pinch these at the end and put them in my bag. Because <laughs> that's what I do. This is the toilet right here. I love it, right? It's a glass door and I appreciate if you're visually impaired and not blind that glass door isn't the best. But I don't know, like, hear it. That's the glass door. So I don't know. I just, I really like the aesthetic. I think it's really modern and nice for like... 
university hotel accommodation. Apparently we got bumped up to city premium. And the bathroom's quite small. It's not small enough that I'm falling over myself, but it's small enough that I'm not getting lost. I'm really enjoying it. You can see toilet straight ahead of me, then the sink's to the left, and then to the left of that is the shower. And um, I got my little complimentary toiletries. I don't know which one's which, which is fine, because I bought my own shampoo and stuff. And I'm raging because I forgot my facial wash and my face cream, so I've had to use the their soap. Which, oh, that's a little fan on. Which is fine, but three days of washing my face with their soap and not having any uh, face cream, my face might get a bit cranky. So um, yeah, I really like that. I'll just make sure to always close this door, otherwise I will walk into it. And then um, the door's just down there. And then um, there's apparently a television somewhere over there. I'm, I'm hope when I'm talking about these things, I'm pointing in the general direction for the IT people. And I'm describing it too for my visually impaired and blind folk. Um, so yeah, this is the room. It's, it's small, but not horrifically small. Look, it's big enough for me to, because if I stand back a bit, you can see the floor. It's big enough for me to do my ab floor exercises and whatnot, and for me to like walk around, but it's not so big that I get lost because, well, turn you around. Um, yeah, you think being disabled, being visually impaired, you want a room as big as because it's easy mobility. Most of the time, yeah, that's right, you do want a bit of extra room to manoeuvre, but sometimes if a room's too big, you kind of get lost and it takes you forever to get from one end of the room to the other. So yeah, that's me. I, again, I probably won't... I might not film at all tomorrow because literally it's just going to be working all day and there'd be no point. I would literally be like, hi guys in the morning and hi guys at night and that's it. So um, Sunday afternoon's when the fun begins, so I'll probably see you then. Bye guys, and I hope I was in frame. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Hello, um, if the video content seems different, it's because I'm filming on Claire's phone. Say hi, Claire. <laughs> hi. Um, it's probably noisy. We were working all day, and then we went out for curry at, I think the place was called the Masala, Masala Market, yeah. Um, we decided Birmingham canals because that's what they're famous for. So right now we're just walking through what I can only describe sounds like a busy nightlife area. Like, I think it's like strip. A canal strip. Oh, the canals. canals. Right there for those. Uh, so yeah. Then we went for I, I want to go in there. That sounds fun. Ray was just playing in the water fountains. I don't think it's too How's you, are your feet wet now? And no, they're actually not, but if I was doing my converse, my, my foot might be wet. So this is a statue of uh, two ladies, two little boys, two ladies and sisters. The one on the far right there, she's uh, pregnant, when that little baby was going on. Um, and so this is the Jones family, according to the plaque on the floor, and uh, apparently they nominated themselves uh, out of, you know, lots of other families on the as well. And the plaque on the floor describes how nuclear families is only one reality of many for a family unit. So these ladies and their, their children here, they're uh, looking lovely. And if you're wondering what that sound is, there's a live drummer in the background playing along to the music tracks very nicely. And there's also an amazing library above, which has got like blue lights and like an intricate uh, front with like circles and all sorts going on. It's not a very good description. So. That's good! Hey guys, I hope I'm in frame. Um, sorry about the background noise. It's um, Sunday now and we're done with all the work. So this is where the fun stuff happens. I just want to do a couple of disclaimers. First of all, sorry if the clips last night were a bit like discombobulated. I've been loving using that word. Um, because 
I I done the best I can, but you know we're all visually impaired, so it can be sometimes hard to like vlog and out and about. Um, which is also a disclaimer for the future clips. I'll film as much as I can, but yeah, a bit discombobulated, and they are all shouting us to go to the hotel again. Sorry about that. I'm trying to talk to you guys as best I can, and and I can't. I can't exactly tell everyone in the room to be quiet, so yeah, it's fine. Um, so we are off to the Birmingham Primark because apparently there's a whole floor that's dedicated to Disney and there is a Disney cafe that I've always wanted to go to, so that'll be fun. We are in the Primark and there's a big sign that says, what was it, Hello Brum? Yeah. Because apparently I've just learned today that Brum is a people from Birmingham get called Brummies and I never knew this and I, that's why the car's called Brum because it's from Birmingham. I'm going to show them find around. Your amazing. Yeah I got that find, in there. Find your amazing. Let, let's go and find our amazing. Upstairs. At last we can, I promise. Okay. We're in the Harry Potter section. Look, there's a wee, there's a wee Dobby statue. And Claire says like this area is darker and it's all like wood panelling and I'm showing them. Yeah. Got the banners and there's up on loads the top. of uh, oh yeah, and there's loads of um, House banners. like wood panelling and like suitcases everywhere. Uh -huh. We got a picture uh -huh. of the. Uh huh. Put your arms like. Oh, I just pushed Dobby. Sorry, Dobby. I think you can go Oh, thank you. So Ray stood in front of the Harry Potter sign. Hi. Next to the Dobby. Who looks very curious. As Dobby is. So there's like owls on the ceiling and like loads of, oh there's a child crying, like loads of crates <laughs> and owls delivering letters. Harry Potter hot water bottles. Yeah that, that's kind of like cute and scary at the same time. <laughs> I'm looking at a big old tall pile of cauldrons that Ray's trying to touch the top of and won't be able to. Oh, and some Bertie Bots. Harry Potter Bertie Bots Every Flavour Beans. Oh, are they here? Yeah. Has anyone ever tried them before? No. What do they taste like? We can buy some and find out. Oh, so they're not like the mental flavours. Occasionally there's an earwax one. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, and there's some models of golden snitches. What ones you can buy or just one of them? All that jazz. Okay, I'm filming. Okay, so apparently this is the entrance into the Disney cafe and it's the children's entrance and it's like a little tunnel! Yeah, and then there's a big tunnel right next to it for the adults. <laughs> I want to go in. Oh, I smell toast! Yeah, me too. <laughs> it's so cool! This is the Disney Disney section of the Primark. Oh. Okay. So Ray's feeling she's figured out the smile, the nose and the eyes. Yeah. Wait, are these, are these ears? Not quite, you need to go up a bit higher. Uh -huh. Left, left, left. Left. Oh, oh, they, oh they're the ears. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's Mickey, Mickey. Yeah. yeah. And then if you come uh, to, come we'll step towards my voice, uh -huh. follow the wall. Forward, 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 forward. Stop. And you know, keep going a little bit further forward. Uh -huh. And what have you found? Um, Tell us what you think you found. Um, um, you might want to go up a bit. Oh, it's a triangle. Yeah. Um, um, so Ray's just feeling around the. So it's very similar to the one you just found with a. Oh, I'm guessing it's many. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So that's, that's, that's the, the smile. Yeah. That's the nose. Yeah. These are the eyes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and they go up a bit more. Okay. And, and you're touching the bow. Yeah, so so give me, oh, keep a hold of your cane. Uh -huh. Keep a hold of it. Uh -huh. Keep a hold of it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, oh wow, I was trying to reach the top of her ball and I'm like, yeah. I can't get to the, like, the middle bit. <laughs> That's so cool. Can you see the... Okay, cool. So Ray's guessing uh, plush animals. I'll pick up another one. That's the, the Winnie the Pooh. Pooh again. Uh, there's one here for you. <laughs> oh, you just it throw it. It's a hot water bottle, yeah. Um, uh, Stitch. Yep, correct. Yay. That was record time. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. it's a cardboard bottle. Oh, it's very soft. 
um, um, it's got, it's got, oh, Dumbo. Yep, correct. Hey. Well done. Uh, oh, there's one right at the top. Can you reach that, right? Um, Catherine. Uh, Catherine. <laughs> oh, it's just a head. It's big and soft. And, uh, okay, it's good. I don't know. It's a Ray's feeling. A rabbit of some sort. Yeah. The most famous Disney rabbit of all. He makes this sort of thing. An onomatopoeic kind of noise. Why did I not know this? He's best pals. Uh -huh. Rhymes with, with a jumper. Little baby animal with a dead mummy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thumper! Correct. Oh my god! I'm blaming that in my lack of sleep. <laughs> so we're in the Disney cafe, and there's a menu. There is a menu. Yeah. Do you want to get my arm? Yes, I do. <laughs> Uh, oh, there's a printed menu, even more accessible. Ooh! Um, so it includes chicken bites, like fish fingers, that kind of thing. Is there anything like specially Mickey Mouse shaped pancakes or waffles? That's Ooh. pretty exciting. Yeah. And then like all sorts of hot drinks and all the standard things. Yeah. Pretty nice. And then there's like Disney pictures all over the wall. It's like a, I'll just show the diner. It's like a 50s style. Diner. Yeah. 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 Okay. So we're looking down at all the escalators. We're on floor two right now, but this goes all the way down to basement level minus two. So there's like five floors of shops in this Primark. Um, so we're just looking down. We're just outside the Disney Cafe, and it's huge. Huge. That's the Hello Brum sign. Uh, above the escalators on the ground floor that we saw before. See how high up it goes. Hey guys, I'm really sorry. I've been a terrible vlogger. I think the last clip you've seen was Claire, Catherine and I and Primark in the Disney section. Um, that was at like <laughs> 3 o'clock <clears throat> and it's now almost 11pm. Uh, I've had an amazing day. Uh, so after we went to Disney, the Disney bit in Primark, um, I had to go into Boots to get um, face stuff. And then um, I smelt a Lush, so we popped into Lush and I got some like Halloween stuff. So if you want to see like a mini haul in that, then definitely let me guys know. Um, and then we had some dinner. I had... I had a starter and a main, which I usually don't go for, but it was a kind of set menu thing. So I had these mushroom oriental pancake things, which were really yum, and then I had a tandoori chicken burger, though I could not eat the whole thing. <laughs> and I'm still full from it. Um, then we went bowling, and um, guess who won bowling? Me! Like... The I am like the blindest person here and I won bowling. I got 116 points. That never happens. Like I'm so chuffed and slightly hyper because I had the slush puppy but I didn't want a full slush puppy because I knew this would happen. So I had like <laughs> less than a half and I'm, I'm like this is me calmed down and I'm <laughs> I hope I'm in frame. So yeah I'm really sorry that I didn't vlog any of the bowling like I totally forgot because after dinner um Mo the the youth worker who you will never ever ever see in my videos because she has a strict policy no pictures no videos no nothing um she said to me do you want to go back up to your room to get anything I said yeah my jacket because I thought we were walking and I thought it'd be cold and it just I'm a terrible vlogger it never strikes me oh you better you better get your bag because you could vlog but um yeah tomorrow I will definitely be filming Cadbury World because it's just uh, me, Catherine, Mo, Stephen, Colin and Danny left. So Stephen, Mo and Colin are volunteers and Danny, Catherine and I are like the the ones doing the work. That sounds bad. It makes it sound like the other ones aren't doing the work. But yeah, we, we were doing the work. I don't actually know if I spoke to you guys about the, what we were doing so I can like briefly tell you now. So we were working with um, 
Birmingham University and in the United Kingdom we have these this thing called QTVI which stands for Qualified Teaching of the Visually Impaired so it's it's teachers that have a qualification in how to teach or support people with a visual impairment so we were coming up with teaching plans for teachers to teach to high school age so about maybe like 16 to 18 on topics such as self-advocacy um, further education, employment, choosing your choosing your education, um, you know, social skills, getting around, confidence, technology. So we were split into groups. So our group, oh my, our group had a lot to do. So Claire was mainly focusing on the self advocacy part. Um, Catherine was really interested in the education. Um, and Danny was happy to do anything. Uh, Georgia and Stephen wanted to do technology and Matthew and his son wanted to do um, employment and I wanted to do um, getting around social skills, independence because as you guys know you've been watching my channel for a while I'm becoming a lot more independent with my my cooking and my getting about so I feel quite passionate about that and I, I feel like that's the area I'm the most confident in. So we done um, you know, we, we started working in plans on Friday night and we done most of all the work Saturday and then the, you know, we, we briefly went over it this morning. So there's still quite a lot of work to do so I'll have to do that on my own in my, my own time. The deadline we all decided is the 18th of October because the, the woman who's in charge of it all, uh, Rachel, she needs to have all the work in for the 1st of November because this is getting rolled out I believe April next year so it's pretty exciting because we are literally coming up with like a teaching plan so I now need to think of um, exercises that um, that they can do so yeah I'm gonna have to have a good noodle over that I'm sorry if any of the I'm like sitting on the floor I'm gonna stand back up again I'm sorry if any of the clips are a bit um like I said earlier, discombobulated. It's so hard to film when you're surrounded by other people and they're talking because you can't exactly be like, shut up, I'm filming, you know? And um, we there's a lot of loud, wonderful, colourful characters here. Um, and I would never tell them to shut up because I, I would, anyone that's that positive and happy, you know, I, I yeah. Um, my arm is like really hurting but I'm having an awesome day so one more day left. We are now in the Premier Inn as well and I am staying in Loki a penthouse suite. So I'll give the sighty people a quick, a quick, a quick, that's a cross between a, a quick and a sweep, a quick around the room. Oh my arm. So I think straight ahead of me is a toilet but I won't go there yet. So over here, I'm calling this the old man chair. This is where I've got all my bags and stuff. Um, I think there's curtains behind it. There's actually a balcony out there, but you can't get to it. It's like locked. So if I turn to the right, I'm still getting used to the orientation of this giant place. So I'm going to count my footsteps from the old man chair. From the old man chair to the desk. It's one, two, three, four, five five steps and on the desk I've just got like my shopping bags, water and then following the kind of hissing noise is the bathroom. I've not actually been in here properly myself. I think the door, the door is um, like ro a roly-poly door. It's one of these doors you grab the handle and you just kind of pull which is quite cool but because this is an accessible room for wheelchairs um, I think the shower I think the shower's over here. I think the shower's got a seat in it. So if I felt like having a wee sit down. Am I in the shower? Is it like a wet room? Oh my, oh my, I'm lost. Okay, that feels like a handle. I think I'm low key in the shower. Yeah, that's a drain in the floor. I am in the shower, cool. <laughs> um, that's the curtains, yep, that is the shower. <laughs> got lost in. Um, here is the towels. Um, I am looking for the toilet and the sink. That is like the main, the main stuff. The hissing is coming from 
Okay. Oh, I found the sink. The sink is here, so I just need to find the toilet. Toilet, toilet, where are you? Where are you? Aha! I found the toilet and it's facing this way. This way. Cool. I hope this footage is okay because this is kind of like I'm filming, but at the same time it's also like I'm orientating myself. So the toilet faces this wall here and you come up right. Okay, so the toilet's right in the corner, but everything's pretty much facing out towards the door and then that's the door to get out the room and I think if I turn to the right and I walk forward I see a big white thing I'm presuming that's my bed I'm going to keep walking forward 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 I think that was about five and a half steps again this is the bed um Mo says it's big enough to fit 10 people in it I'm gonna lean right across it let's see Okay, let's see. I hope I'm in frame. Oh, oh, okay. I'm five foot four. My toes are, my toes are just hanging over the edge. And, um, hopefully you can see there's still like a little bit of room. So I'd say this, this bed, width wise, it's more than five foot four. Mm, maybe, maybe six foot wide. Um, I don't know how many feet lengthwise. I really can't be bothered. <laughs> and I already think this clip is quite lengthy. Um, so yeah, I hope I'm in frame right now. I'm really trying to get better with being in frame. I've kind of figured out that I was always really worried when I started filming YouTube videos that if I filmed too low, you'd literally just be staring at my boobs. And I didn't want that. So I was... <laughs> I was filming too high, um, but then I realised that I, when people pull my arm down, I kind of feel like I'm filming my chin, but actually I'm in frame. So that it kind of feels like I'm filming my chin and my chest right now, but I'm hoping I'm in frame. Fingers crossed. Cool. So I'm probably just going to take my makeup off and go for a shower in the morning. Yeah. And I better text Catherine, that's what I'm doing, because she was going to help me dry my hair. Because I'm Rapunzel. <laughs> so I hope you guys are having an awesome time. And I will see you beautiful people in the morning. Bye bye, my blue lovelies. Hey guys, I apologise for my little curl. If, you, if I'm in frame and you can see that. Um, I washed my hair this morning and I, I don't have straighteners on me, so my... My little curl might get progressively curly as the day goes on. Let's try and ignore my my devil curl. Um, yeah, it's, I nearly said Sunday morning. <laughs> it's Monday morning, had breakfast, had um, some fruit and some granola, and I tried Marmite for the first time. Um, I think I must be the first person in the world to say I don't love it and I don't hate it. It's it's quite nice. It tastes like the, the little crisps twiglets. So, um... Colin gave me a little sashi to take home. I I think, um, yeah, I think I quite like Marmite. I think I'd have that again. So I'm just waiting for Colin to knock on my door any second. Um, it's almost 11 o'clock and I think the plan is we're all meeting down the stairs at 11. I don't think we're going to Cabaret World straight away because I think Catherine wanted to return something at Primark, but I don't know if she is doing it. So, oh! And there's the knock. Coming! I better go. See you later. We've arrived at the, the Bourneville train station and I believe that the wall behind me is like purple for Canterbury. And uh, if I'm talking funny, it's because I breathe it through my mouth because apparently when you come off you can smell the chocolate but it's not too strong here so I want to wait until it's really strong. So yeah, it's exciting times. On you go. We're in Cadbury World and, and it's behind me and people, oh yes, now you want to be in the shot. It's Catherine dancing. Oh, I thought it was Stephen. No, Cadbury I don't dance. dance. Oh. I'm deeply unhappy. Oh, okay. But we've arrived. Are doing the QVC hand No. Okay. Okay, so to the right, I went to the snack bar. Um, and then I think somewhere down to the left, there's a shop. Mm -hmm. 
It's great having a cameraman because I'm talking about this stuff and I don't know where it is, but it's there and they know where it is, so when I'm talking about it, they can show it. But yeah, we're definitely hitting that shot up after. Shot? Shit. Shot up after. <laughs> I'm getting too excited that I'm stumbling over my words. So we're learning on about the history of how chocolate got from A to B to C to D to E, how it got from the Aztecs to the Spanishies, the Spanishies, the Spanish people, the French, um, England. So right now we're at the stage where um, there was grocers, Cadbury's, and uh, cocoa was becoming more accessible to people who couldn't afford it and they had things like uh, chocolate houses which was the place to hang out so i think we're at the white house chocolate pub what was it called again white chocolate house white chocolate house and it was founded in 19 no it wasn't 19 1693 Six, i nearly said 1963 no 1693 other way around so yeah and they used to go to places called chocolate houses, not like actual houses made of chocolate, but they were kind of like their clubs and they used to like socialise and gamble and drink chocolate and all that jazz. There you go. It's a tin pudding machine, yeah? Yep. And it's mixing the chocolate up. I'm trying to see if I can smell it through the glass, but it's not happening. <laughs> What do you see the chocolate that's getting mixed up? Yeah. What do you think that's going to become? A country, a dairy milk? A... Well, it's going to become all of the above, I think. It's going to. Oh, so is that just like the general chocolate and then they just chuck it in the stuff? Yeah. Ah, they make okay, cool. big, big vats of the chocolate uh -huh. and then it'll go into one process to make dairy milk bars, one process to do something else. But there'll be other processes where maybe it makes dark chocolate or milk chocolate yeah. or. But it all starts with the same stuff, I think. Oh, okay, cool. What I'm going to do, shall uh -huh. I come round and I'll show you from that side? So, you're gonna, she's going to help you temper this chocolate. I'm, oh. I'll video while she's doing that. Yes. There we go. Are you, are you, sorry, look, are you easy with me doing that hand or would you, do you want to swap it over? Or you no, no, this is okay. okay. So, what do you want to do? Spread your chocolate. Can uh -huh. you feel it? Yeah. Okay, so, all awesome. you're doing is spreading your chocolate. Uh -huh. So what you're doing there is you're just spreading out so that then you can hand temper the chocolate, okay? Uh -huh. So if we hold the knife steady now, uh -huh. and we're going to use this hand, uh -huh. and then with the chocolate, you're just going to push it along. Lift it up. Now you're hand tempering the chocolate to pull the chocolate out. It doesn't really matter whether you do it like this or if you just want to have a play with the chocolate. <laughs> Keep on writing if you want. Okay, uh, am I moving down? Huh? Keep going, keep going. Okay. Uh, I'm running out of things. Oh, I know what I can write. Right, here we go, you ready? Yeah. Alright. There. <laughs> yeah. Blue. Blue, here we go. Oh, I'm running out. Okay. It's supposed to say blue cloud, does it? <laughs> yeah. Kinda yeah. ran out. <laughs> Very well done. Yeah. Help you enjoy the Canberra magic. So we just started on the right way. What's it like? It's good. Um, the squeaky voice is. of a marshmallow and Oreo crumb and um wait can I like oh wait there's a wee spoon I'm gonna have a tiny tiny wee bit to see what it's like uh, oh 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 that's good right I want to eat any more that's good <laughs> 
Okay. So apparently behind me is the original Bourneville factory in Bourneville. As far as I'm aware, Bourneville is like the factory that does all like the dark chocolate. I've had the chocolate buttons which are quite nice, but it was my pap was like my papa loved dark chocolate as well as me and it was his favourite kind of chocolate. And um, it was my dad that told me all about it. So yeah, I didn't even know what it was until they told me, so it's kinda cool. And that's us all finished now in Cabaret's via. There's a, there's a sign behind that says bye. Well, not a bye, it probably says like thank you for your visit, see you again soon. <laughs> and um, yeah, I just spent like 20 pounds on chocolate, but I'll show you guys that later. We're um, now going back to the train station to get the train back home. Sad times! <sighs> Hey guys, it's the next day now, it's actually Tuesday, oops, flucking my camera everywhere. I think the last clip you've seen was us leaving Cadbury's World. After that there wasn't much more to film, we went straight to Birmingham New Street train station, we just loitered around until our train, and then pretty much on the train I, I basically just slept. And then, <laughs> it's actually about quarter to three right now. Um, in the afternoon, I had to get up early to go to poll and people are like, you're mad, and it's like, well I missed it last week. I'm actually feeling okay, um, after I finish up here I'm going to go down the stairs and do my scrap my scrapbooking, my scrapbooking, I'm not talking right today, it must be the lack of sleep, since I keep telling people I think I got about 13 hours sleep throughout the whole weekend, and I don't regret it, I'm still, I'm still quite perky. And for me, that's very, very strange because I'm one of these people that cannot function unless I get at least eight hours sleep. So, very peculiar. I'm just tidying out my bag now and um, if I had to say, well, I was going to say if I had to say one word from that whole trip. I couldn't, it, it was, it was an amazing, amazing trip. I, I've been having a lot of um, problems which I don't think I'll ever discuss on my YouTube channel. Um, I don't even discuss to people in my personal life. Mostly because I struggle to talk about it, even to my, like, my friends and family. So I've been having a really rough couple of weeks and I almost didn't want to come here. Um... I was really, really, really upset on Wednesday and I was losing sleep over coming here. And I knew it was the right thing to do. Didn't want to do it. I was kind of encouraged to do it. So Friday and Saturday I was a bit funny. But definitely I'd say, you know, after Sunday I, I warmed up. People are saying, well that's because, you know, Sunday afternoon and Monday you've done the fun things. If I could tell you, if I could tell you I would, but there's probably a reason why I felt better on the Sunday and the Monday. Um, but I'm so glad I went. The people, the people there are lovely and it's the whole reason why I got involved with Haggai when I first lost my sight. It was the first time I actually felt wanted and a part of something. Um, I used to play a game online and I loved playing the game because every time I went into the, the online room everybody was like oh here's Ray, oh Ray we missed you and and it was nice to feel appreciated and loved and and that's what Haggai used to be like for me but you know it wasn't it wasn't at the internet it was real people which made it like even like, more special and um, sadly Haggai the the group the project is um it's not what it once used to be, but this other group, the 18 plus group, um, Magi, is it's definitely going really promising places. And I had an amazing time with amazing people and it, it, it yeah, it was it was fabulous. So I'm just cleaning out my bag now. I brought back a lot of food, not just the chocolate from Cadbury Well, but in general. Like, there was lots of snacks. I had my own special snacks because of my slight lactose intolerance and whatnot. So, a lot of food. 
Uh, let me know if you guys, I was definitely going to do a Cadbury World haul because I, I bought a lot of chocolate. But if you guys want like a whole haul, so things I got at Primark or because uh, I went to Lush as well, or things I did, just snacks I brought back, then let me know because I would love to do that. I'd probably split it up like Cadbury World haul. Um, shopping haul and then snack haul or something like that but I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and I hope I'm in frame and the clips were okay and the next video hopefully you'll see in my channel will be another vlog my half marathon and I'm really looking forward to that so I'll touch you guys in a future video bye guys